What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome. It's Monday, so we are going to be doing a new review on the Fans Choice English League. The throat is a bit raw, lads, so hopefully I haven't got my cup of tea into me yet, but hopefully we'll be able to get through the video. Um, let's see, right? So there's a couple of nice players in here. If you are looking to build out a squad that can kind of compete towards eFootball 2024, right? We will cover that um, later on in the live stream. I will be live streaming. I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about these players. So make sure you catch out that, catch that live stream, right? But you've got four players here. We're not even going to spend too much time on them. If you are a newcomer and you want to improve your squad, yeah, they're pretty decent players. William is quite decent as well. Um, this guy, Henry, as well, is a very, very good uh, very good starter. Um, if you want, or a squad player, if you want to have him on, Obviously, he's only got standard form. He's limited in his player skills. But stat-wise, he's actually quite beastly, as you see here. He goes to a 90 overall on a left back, and he gets 91 speed, 96 acceleration, 90 jump and balance, and 81 dribbling with 87 aggression, which is quite good for a player that you can probably get very easily with a couple of hundred coins. Um, so I do think that there are a couple of hidden gems in here. I will focus on them a little bit more. Um, I would also throw Gibbs White into that category as somebody that's a bit of a hidden gem and then you've got a unique player in ward pros who you can get into the really high stats for uh, if you need a free kick taker um if you want a beckham-esque free kick taker in ward pros i mean he has a starting set piece take stat of 91 so i mean you pop five or six into shooting and you're going to be maxing out that free kick ability and he's also got some excellent player skills as well one touch pass uh dip and shot long range shooting heel trick true passing and pinpoint crossing Beautiful kind of Beckham-esque player, um, even though he's a classic number 10, he does go a few levels uh, high um, and he can be a nice player for you. Gibbs White is also an interesting one, we have him here up and he's got a very nice card as you see there. Mid 80s for every single thing in attack, um, apart from the free kicks and curl and offensive awareness, but then you've got speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina, and this is a beautifully balanced card as a whole player, 8, 8, 8, 9, 7, um, to get that acceleration up, and he also does have unwavering form, which is nice for a player like this, that you can kind of bring in, a lot of people won't like the fact he doesn't have a real in-game face, but yeah, there's a lot of kind of I would say players like these three here, then Trippier. Trippier is a fantastic player if you cross the ball in. Um, he's got everything that you could possibly want uh, with a starting right back, but I just feel like he's a little bit kind of limited compared to the other right backs at the moment. Even standard version Alexander-Arnold with the way the gameplay is. Um, I do like that Trippier is kind of uh, really, really nice passing, um, but he doesn't have a lot of the stats that you would want if you run and gun a lot, right? Now, a lot of people know that the way the gameplay is at the moment is it's not really about possession um hopefully that changes down the line he's a very good right back i know some people will say that he's meta some people will say that he's a beast i still think that he's lacking a couple of key things um not a bad player by any means but yeah definitely somebody that i wouldn't really have over the likes of trent or cancelo or one of those guys that are the top top tier Zaha has another interesting choice. I mean, he's just your, your run-of-the-mill kind of winger. We have him up here. Uh, Zaha is going to be, you know, 94 dribbling, 97 acceleration, 88 balance. And we also have Nunes maxed out here. He's a very, very solid center midfielder as well. Missing a couple of key stats and key skills, um, especially defensively if you're looking to have a box-to-box. -box. He doesn't have that kind of, you know, that pep in his step so to speak but again a very solid player right so there is 20 players in this um i would also throw uh pickford and watkins yes you can use them yes they are pretty decent players but they're not going to be the kind of top stars or the top draw in this i would say madison is falling into the same category as james ward pros and kind of uh, gibbs white they're kind of very similar style players they're not really at the upper tier but they are good if you want an impact player or if you want a player that's going to be in contract for 365 days um McAllister is an interesting one he's got some fairly nice stats attacking wise he's a really good player um and especially the fact that he's got unwavering form um he has obviously got a move away now so that is going to be something to keep an eye on how his value changes and his rating changes as he's moved to Liverpool but he's a very good attacking player I mean he's similar to kind of like Enzo Fernandez or somebody like that um where he has got that card box to box unwavering form he's got one touch pass first time shot low lofted pass and pinpoint crossing 
and you can play him anywhere in the central, like DMF, AMF, CMF. So I do like this card as well. I've used the Argentinian uh, pack of him or the standard card of him. So I do really like this card as well. And there's a lot of those in it, right? So moving on to kind of the big ones, right? Gundo, I'd put into that same category as well. Um, he's got standard form, but very similar kind of applies to what I just said there. One touch pass, double touch. Very, very spicy on the ball. Really nice handling. Um, I think that's got to do with his um, his player skills more so than his actual stats. So if you're used to playing with a slower base kind of hole player, this guy will definitely do a job for you as well. So I do think that there are some nice players in the pack, but they really start to get exciting with these last six, right? These are the kind of last six um, that I would talk about. We've had a lot of Rashford cards. We've had a lot of Declan Rice cards. And then Harry Kane is going to be a bit polarizing depending on how you play, right? But... I do feel like that they are some good additions of the cards or versions of the cards, right? Rashford has got a lot of cards, lads. Um, this one is a pretty beastly one. If you have never used Rashford before and if you want to kind of test them out and you do spin him, I do think he's kind of worth training up, right? As, as we've kind of looked at here, he's got 28 levels to go. You can train him up in multiple ways. I will do specific training guides in a few of these players. Uh, let me know who you would like to see me do uh, first. I'll probably do Declan Rice, to be honest, but Rashford is a good card as well if you play him as a prolific winger, right? So a lot of people will play him through the middle as a CF. He is down as a prolific winger on this card. He is different than his standard card, right? So he's, this card is minus two and everything, but he's got extra levels. Um, so pretty much his standard card is very, very similar to this card, but you don't have to train as much. And with training points getting a little harder to come by, it mightn't be a bad thing to get this card if you do spin him and train him up, right? So the thing with Rashford, I think that really kind of limits him with this card is his finishing at 80. But I think that's more than enough if you max out his balance and his acceleration and then you have a bit of that kicking power as well, which we already do have there. Like early, he's not going to be that good in the air. So you do have to take a lot of shots with Rashford. I would use him as an impact player. Um, I'd actually use him similar to Adriano, lads. Uh, you know, believe that as it may. Um, you've got the kicking power. You've got the speed. You've got the, you know, the balance and the strength um, from there. And then you've also got like a little bit of ball control there as well to, to boost that up. And I would probably train up a little bit more shooting and a little bit more finishing if you want to go that route but the key with this card is going to be if you are playing him as a winger um, is to be able to cut in and score because you have enough of everything else there you have enough acceleration and balance you have enough dribbling there and you also have enough speed so yeah I mean it's I would probably I would probably get away with one more into dribbling there to have 87 dribbling 93 acceleration and 80 balance Thiago Silva I mean pretty easy to train up as well you're never going to have that speed and acceleration so I wouldn't even bother so I would probably put 10 into or 12 into that or maybe 13 into that to get the aggression up as high as you can possibly go he's actually surprisingly good in the air if you train up his jump pretty decently with the goalkeeper one uh topping that up and then you can decide yeah i'll put five into acceleration or i'll put four into acceleration um and two into lower body i mean but that doesn't really make that much of a difference um and declan rice if we take a look at him here he's down as a destroyer uh, if you give him blocker, he will be an absolute machine. If you give him heading, he will be an absolute machine as well. One of the best at DMFs in the game. One of my favorite players to use and very easy to train up as well. Again, once you get to that 90 on the tackling, um, or sorry, 88 on the defensive awareness, you're going to want to leave everything else. Acceleration and speed is going to be always his issue. So if you are a passing DMF, I'd probably just pop that up to maybe 81 and 80. And then dribbling, I would pop, probably pop that the same, that you don't have, you know, be falling over yourself when you get the ball. I wouldn't worry too much about the speed and dexterity because that's going to be an issue no matter what you do with this card. I'd top up his stamina a little bit. And then aerial, aerial strength, I'd probably pop up that as well. Um, to get his physical contact up just a little smidge we don't need to go too mad on that um, because we can get a few on to jump as well if we want to go that route but we are going to have 88 physical contact as well because a lot of the ball that's going to be breaking down here is going to be falling into his pat in the middle of the pitch and then once you kind of get to there you can either top up his aerial strength and defending or else you can pop two more into his passing to go 95 overall and one more into his speed so he is an interesting card and definitely one that i would recommend you can see here that the, these cards are pretty much two stats in every category better than the standard version with way less to train so that's kind of where they've limited them um we've also got saka as we looked at here 21 levels is a prolific winger he's fairly easy to train up 
Van Dijk again going to be very slow uh, 89 aggression 90 jump 91 physical contact and then 90 Three defensive awareness with 92 tackling. He'll get the boost for defensive engagement. And Harry Kane, 89 finishing, uh, 80 stamina, 80 jump, 84 physical contact, and 94 offensive awareness. Harry Kane is probably the least recommended one because of his play style and the way that he plays coming forward for the ball. But look, I will do training guides, lads. There are a couple of specific players we want to talk about. Let me know who you want to see first up in a training guide. And until next time, I will be back. We will be streaming later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.